Hi, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to cover over auto roll. So basically, what auto roll is, it's um, it gives a member a roll when he joins the server. So in today's video, we're going to use a database, and we're not going to use mongoose for this because it's just saving one row, um, just a few digits of a few numbers. So I'm not going to create a whole schema for it. We're just going to use recon DB. If you haven't seen how to set up, how to set this up, I re um, I already made a tutorial on this. I'll link it down in the description. So yeah, we'll start by creating a command to set the row for, um, to set the row for auto row. If that makes any sense, um, just go to one of the folders and I'm going to do auto row. Js. Then, as usual, I already made a snippet for this, so you just going to do all this. You can remove this. You don't need to um, write parameters. Um, I just like to write it so I will get like message dot, and you can get all these options if you remove this. And when you do message dot dot, and then you won't get any um, options. So I'll just do this, just cons, just copy this. All right. So this will be auto row. Okay. Then const. I mean, let's check for permissions first. So if message on member that has permission, so we're gonna check if they have um manage roles permission. And then return message dot channel dot send. You need to manage roles permission to use this command. Okay, so after we check the role, we're gonna require a database. So go on top here, const db, just require, and then go to your recon db file. So in my case, it's two directories out and recon db. So we're gonna define role. So const role equals message or mentions the roles dot first, or we can just pass in the ID message dot mentions dot um I mean message dot guild dot roles dot catch dot get and then our zero. Okay, then if no row, return message dot channel dot send role is not valid. Okay, so when there's a row, you're gonna save the row to the database. So deep await db dot save the db dot set. And then we're gonna set auto row. And then dash message dot guild ID comma row dot ID. All right. So after it saved, we're gonna do message dot channel dot send. Let me just do message to reply. Message to reply. Um, role role dot name is set is the auto row so that's just confirmation message um, after it's set okay so we're gonna make a check command so we're gonna check which com uh, which role um, it's assigned to auto row um, auto role check in the JS and then we can just do the same thing again and then this will be auto role Okay, so we're gonna require db again, const db because require the dot slash the dot slash recon db. Okay. So message um const true um const check 
equals await db dot has auto roll message dot guild dot id okay so you return a boolean so if check equals false return message no reply um, there is no auto roll set so if there is data you're gonna get the data so a message I mean const roll equals to mess um, await db dot get auto roll and then message to get the ID guild ID and we get the row then we're gonna send a message so message I'll reply um, the auto row is and then we're gonna do um, this and then we're gonna mention a row by doing this um, row and then a lower than sign Okay, so this will be it for the auto roll. Okay, and then now we're gonna do the event. So this is an event handler. If you don't have one, I already made a video on it. You can, if you don't want to get one of, uh, if you don't want to use event handler, feel free to do it in index.js or any of your main files. So we're gonna name this auto roll JS. As usual, we're gonna require in the client const client equals require quite require dot dot slash index.js client dot on yield member at async um, error what am I even doing and then member okay so we're gonna pass in member and we're gonna get database also cons database equals require dot dot slash recon db okay so first we're gonna check the data we're gonna use the same thing over here cons check and then if check is equals to true we're gonna do something okay so member dot roles dot add and then await db dot get so you're basically getting the role ID, so auto role, and then member, no oh, guild, the ID, okay, you gotta change message to member, member, no oh, guild, the ID, and then, yeah, this should be it for the auto role. So let's just start the bot up, and let's test it, okay, um, we're gonna test if, uh, out my out account. Okay, okay, what is it? Auto roll. Okay, just gotta make the async. Just write async in front of the member. And then let's try this out again. Um, just wait for the bot to get on. Okay, so the bot is on now. So when we run Y, auto roll. Um, why auto roll check? I can't spell things right. Auto roll check. There is no auto roll set because I haven't set any uh, roles. Let me see what roles I got. Okay, I got. Okay, let me just give the bot role as the auto roll. So why auto roll? Then they will ask me to roll. Is they will tell me that role is role isn't valid. So auto roll. And then bot row. Bot row is the auto row. So if I go to the database and I should see um, the bot row. So let's see. Auto row and this row ID. This is the guild ID and then this is the bot row ID. So when I make my um, out account join the server, it should get the um, bot row. So I click my out account and then I'll come in here and then I'll click on the invite 
alright I mean you see missing okay so the thing is I forgot to give my bot permissions always forget um let me see what I can do you hmm what is wrong with this um member the roles okay I the thing is the role is above of the highest the bot role is lower than the role that is going to assign that's why it's throwing this error so make sure that your bot highest role is over the role that you want to assign so in this case it's going to be my youtube bot it's going to be above of the bot role i'm going to assign okay then just going to save this okay that's what have makes the error so let me just clear and then look dot and then I can make the alt account leave the server again okay so the, uh, my alt account is left and when I join the server I should get the role so when I check the role um, it's not loading okay so you see I got the bot role so now if I remove this data all right then I kick my alt account and I make it join back it shouldn't get the role anymore because there is no data so as you can see there is no role so yeah that's about it for today's video if you have any errors or anything um, you want to ask anything in general um, feel free to join the support server links will be in the description uh, if you like this video uh, leave a thumbs up and if you want to see more content like this um, feel free to subscribe so yeah other than that have a nice day see you again on the next video bye